Removable second phalanx application. For indications where stabilization or support of the metacarpals and wrist joint are required. Follow physician's instructions on the proper positioning of the limb. A common position is with the wrist in slight dorsal flexion, neutral with regards to radial and ulnar deviation, and in slight supination. Select a stockinette that will not restrict the widest part of the limb. Measure from the distal phalanx to below the wrist joint to protect the skin. Make a little cut with a scissor for the thumb hole. Roll up the stockinette before applying on the limb to overcome sliding pressure during application. Roll off and remove all wrinkles and creases. Measure with one inch stockinette the length from distal phalanx to wrist joint to protect second and third phalange. Following that, make a two inch cut at one side and slide stockinette over the two fingers and remove wrinkles and creases. Cut the stockinette between the third and fourth phalanx. Make sure the patient's limb position is correct before starting to apply the cast tape. Begin by putting on protective gloves before applying the cast tape. Measure using 2-inch or 3-inch cast tape from the proximal phalange of the thumb to below the wrist to use as a reinforcing strip. Fold over to make two layers and cut. Cut approximately 2 inches in the middle of one end of the reinforcement strip to create a split end. Place the reinforcement strip along the lateral side of the second phalange so the split end goes around the thumb. Dip the cast tape in water, squeezing one to three times. Remove from water and squeeze one time to remove excess water. Start wrapping the cast below the wrist and make a cut to go through the web space. Work around the second and third phalanges twice and cut the cast tape. Position the second and third phalange. Before the cast tape fully sets, insert zip stick along the dorsal surface of the hand. Allow the cast to initially set and cut off along the zip stick. Trim the borders of the cast for a good fit. Round any sharp corners. Once that's completed, place the cast back on the patient and trim any areas that may cause irritation or limit the range of motion. Then, cut two small pieces of adhesive hook and place one over the medial wrist and attach stretch loop to close the cast. Now, attach second adhesive hook on dorsal hand and attach the stretch loop to close the cast. Check any points that may cause irritation or pressure points and check mobility. Now, remove the cast and apply adhesive fleece edger to the edges of the cast and around the thumb. Fold the edger so it overlaps the edge and covers the inside and outside of the cast at the edges. 
cover all the edges of the cast that will come in contact with the patient's skin, creating softer edges. Put the finished cast on the forearm and close using the stretch loop. And you are finished.